Hey, hey, Ninja. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add thread um, header images to your Heartbeat community thread channels. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Misty Dorman from mistydorman.com and lifeninjatraining.com. I help overwhelmed entrepreneurs implement systems, strategies, tools, and tech to save time and mental calories growing their biz. So if you want more of these types of videos, please leave your vote by giving it a thumbs up. That really is the best compliment that you can give me and be sure to subscribe. Uh, so I am doing a training series on Heartbeat, um, how to do different things in Heartbeat in the community platform. And uh, so I do have a whole playlist full of videos for you if you need um, instructions on how to do something else. Also, be sure to leave me a comment if there's something else you want to see in here. Okay, so the way that you uh, create thread headers, first you need to actually create a new thread, you need to start a thread. Um, so I actually already have headers on all of these in my community. This is kind of what we're going for here. Okay, so um, you'll see I've got just a picture at the top of every one of my channels. I'm going to take you over to my, uh, my sort of test community because I do not have uh, really anything in there yet. And I'll show you how to pull in a thread header and actually have it uh, jump to the top of your thread. Okay, so this is my test community. And I as you see, I have no thread headers. So we're gonna we're gonna put them in there. Now, um, I have created my thread headers using Canva. And um, recently, as I'm recording this heartbeat has just given us suggested image dimensions and they have also um made it so that there's not any like weird cropping in different size browsers on mobile that type of thing uh, we did have some funky cropping going on before so now that they've released actual image dimensions that we should use um now we can do these kinds of cool things and not worry about having it show up oddly in our communities on different platforms. I had to come and grab the suggested image dimensions and that is 1,344 by 384 pixels. Okay, so 1344 by 384. Now, um, if you have my Heartbeats template pack, I do have templates like this one right here. I have, um, currently four different templates. I will probably be adding more as I get requests. Um, so different styles and colors and whatnot, they're all fully customizable because they are in Canva. So you can go out and customize for free using that tool. If, um, if you do not have my templates pack, I will leave a link below because that is going to seriously fast track your process of getting your heartbeat community all set up. So make sure that you go and check that out. I just wanted to show you these image dimensions in case you are creating your own images, make sure you save those off. All right, so here's how you get the images up to the top. All right, so you are going to, um, you know, type whatever text you want on this post. So like, um, make sure to um, come back and say, oops, Lock. say hi to our new members in this awesome intro channel. Okay, don't say that. It's silly, but, um, but that's just me testing, right? Okay, and then you're just going to hit this little paper clip icon to add your images. Okay, so we are going to go and find my um, thread header images real quick. My goodness, it is hard to uh, navigate and talk at the same time. All right, uh, thread headers. So I'm just gonna grab what I've already um, got in my other community just for uh, speed's sake. Okay, so you see it kind of pops down to the bottom. Now, what I was doing before is I was copying and pasting this up to the top, but Heartbeat has now um, implemented where, let me go ahead and post this. Um, so see, it's still at the bottom. They've, they've now created it so that it automatically will go to the top if you pin the post and it, it actually spreads across the top of your post with your name underneath it. Um, I don't think I have, let's see if I have an example to show you something that's an image that is not 
uh, a pinned image. Okay, so see, this one is not a pinned post, and it's got my name and, you know, sort of the text at the top with the image at the bottom. This one is a pinned post, and it, the header stretches across the entire top, and um, you know, with my text and my name and everything below. So that is how you do it. If you're trying to do thread headers and you're like, oh my gosh, how do I get this to the top? You need to go pin it. You probably have not pinned that header um, or that post, I should say, to the top of your thread. Now, if you are going to pin multiple posts, that's gonna change things a little bit. So um, this is how it looks on desktop. It's now like a tiny, <laughs> <laughs> a tiny post with a much smaller image. So if you truly want to have thread headers, it is best to only have one pinned post at the top of your threads. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know below. Again, um, make sure you get that templates pack. If you could use, you know, some help getting those images created. Um, I've got docs templates out there, all kinds of good stuff. I'm adding new things very regularly right now. So do make any requests below for any other heartbeat training that you do want. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, Ninja.